Texans 13, Bengals 9, the good, bad and ugly the Texans ended a trying week with a much-needed 13-9 road victory over the Cincinnati Bengals on Thursday night at Paul Brown Stadium, although the game film certainly won't be rushed to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. A quick look at some of the highlights and lowlights from Week 2. The good one. Texans defense. After a pedestrian showing in the season opening loss to Jacksonville, the Texans defense limited the Bengals to three field goals and shut them out for the final 22 minutes, 26 seconds to gut out the victory. That came despite losing starting cornerbacks Jonathan Joseph and Kevin Johnson to injury and being without suspended inside linebacker Brian Cushing. 2. Deshaun Watson's legs. His passing line was nothing special, 15 of 24, 125 yards, was nothing special, but Watson's mobility ended up being the difference. His 49-yard touchdown run arguably was the most exciting play of the offensive slog, known as the Bill O'Brien era. That's a play none of the other eight quarterbacks who started under O'Brien would ever make. Watson's legs and a couple key third-down completions also set up the game-clinching field goal. The bad one. Bengals offense. Cincinnati became the first team since the 1939 Eagles to open the season without a touchdown in two consecutive home games. If you're wondering, yes, the forward pass was legal then. The Bengals have a lot of skill position talent, but were plagued by missed throws by Andy Dalton, the Katy native's inaccuracy was glaring, as well as drops and mental errors, Tyler Eifert stepping out of bounds before what would have been a touchdown catch that doomed Cincinnati. In other words, same old bungles. 2. Texans play calling. During the broadcast, NBC analyst Chris Collinsworth referred to Texans coach Bill O'Brien as an aggressive play caller. Texans fans undoubtedly are wondering what Collinsworth was talking about based on the unimaginative offenses O'Brien has led since 2014. O'Brien's play calling Thursday could charitably be described as curious, such as running into seven man lines on key third downs and a running back rotation that didn't make sense at times. The Ugly One. Texans Bengal Series. This was hardly a primetime showcase for the NFL. Maybe the league should do something to ensure that these teams don't play again for a few years, since they basically play the same game every season. The scores of their games the past three seasons, 10-6, 12-10 and 13-9. The Texans won all three, scoring just one touchdown in each game. Each instance was the epitome of winning ugly. But beggars can't be choosers. 2. Texans special teams. The kick coverage was horrific at times, with Bengals returner Adam Jones and Alex Erickson ripping off some healthy returns. A couple bad penalties also pinned the Texans in terrible field position. Basically, same old Texans special teams.